Parasitic blowflies, which feed on the flesh of warm-blooded animals. Dr. Heather Walden of the University of Florida College of Veterinary Medicine describes the signs of New World screw worm infestation. It becomes very putrid. It smells. Um, you know, they're, they're feeding on these tissues. And a lot of times what happens is as they're feeding and you get all this going on, you're, you're getting some, some dead tissue there. According to the CDC, the flies lay eggs in open wounds or in body openings such as the nose, eyes, ears, or mouth. It is rare in humans and doesn't spread from person to person, and it primarily impacts livestock. This parasite has been in Central and South America um, you know, for decades. We've been working here in the United States and, and with other countries to mitigate the, the spread into our, into our countries and into other countries since the 60s and probably way before then. The U.S. eradicated the New World screw worm half a century ago, and now the feds are taking steps to protect cattle and pets as well, which also could be susceptible to the flesh-eating parasite. When you're thinking about your pets, your dogs, for instance, you know, if, if you have open wounds, just making sure that, that they're clean, they're covered. If you have animals with wounds or you see um, fly larvae or, or maggots, as, as you mentioned, um, on any of that, you know, just taking them to your local veterinarian, getting them checked out. Putting things into perspective, I spoke to a cattleman in Maryland who says in his 67 years, he's never seen a single case of New World screw worm, and he doesn't anticipate we'll see one here in Maryland amidst this latest scare. Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.